Hello lovely people, it's the final day here at the World Championships and it's the men's elite road race. I absolutely can't wait, it's gonna be so good. Boop. Just got to Harrogate. Jake and I didn't actually bring rain capes this weekend, so Jake's got a bin bag and uh, I'm trying to just be waterproof. Skin's waterproof, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just got to the cafe. First things first, I need some brekkie. <laughs> the riders have got like 260 something K, 90K left. So Katie and I have decided to brave the outdoor elements. So um, we're looking so stylish. <laughs> I need one of these hats, I tell you. I got um, given this hat, how bad is that? Someone lent me their brolly in the hat because I've come obviously it very You're a famous prepared. YouTuber. Well, you know. <laughs> so the men have just gone past. It's absolutely hissing it down here. You can hear the fans are out in force today. About 100k to go now. We're having a walk around the course. It's splitting all over the place. I have no real idea what's happening whilst I'm on the course, but we've just arrived at the Alpacin area and I believe they're actually doing haircuts. So I'm gonna see if I can get a quick trim. <laughs> just about to get my hair trimmed, so pass you over to Katie. Ben's going to be my barber today. Apparently Ben has never cut women's hair. Over a decade since I did a women's haircut, so... Tad always used to get so annoyed at me because I never used to brush my hair. And he used to have to like, force me to brush it and I'd cry when he brushed my hair. So like part of me is loving this, but part of me is getting like PTSD that someone's brushing my hair. Look at that close up shot. Oh hey. What's amazing is how much, how much hairdressing has, has actually managed to get into your video. There's a lot of hairdressing been in my videos through that. 50% of my videos is just getting haircuts from me. Tall Dave's hair as well looks fantastic. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, it's a shame you took out the cornrows, but... I'm still quite upset about that. I watched your video last night and Did I, think, you? I genuinely think he looks like a dragon. <laughs> it was beautiful. Found a pose in front. Hey, shush! You're not going to tell me that. No. Oh, Where is Anna Van Philippe? Van in the front. Who's in the front? Where is my man? On his own? No? Well, no one knows. No, there's a few no of one's by the road. No, no one's a, by the road. Katie, what's happening in the race? 17 k left. Van Depaul's in the break. Alright. How many are up the road? Four of them. Four of them. Look at my hair. Thanks, Ben. That's alright. <laughs> Road. I think Van der Poel's in the move, not sure who else is there. It's absolutely tipping it down, so I'm gonna to go to the cafe to watch the finish on the TV because I can't really see anything. There's so many people here. So that 
all got a bit hectic because I had to go and watch the race, obviously. That's why I'm here. But thanks to Ben at Alpacin for cutting my hair. It's looking a little bit smarter now. So, now to the finish. There is about 10k left or around about one lap to go. There's a move of four off the front, which looks decisive. I'm not sure, though, who is exactly in that move because I'm just watching it outside and we don't really know what's going on out here. Katie is looking forever glamorous, as always. And I got the bright. What's going on, Katie? I don't know, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Oh, I better prepare my answer. <laughs> Kung and one of the Italian guys broke away off the front. Van der Poel bridged up and dragged a few of the guys with him. And then for some reason, at the start of the final lap, Van der Poel just blew a few, like just blew up completely, stopped, like stopped completely. And now it's Kung, Matteo Trentin, and yeah, Matt Pedersen. No Van der Poel, just blew up, like stopped dead in his tracks, got passed by the peloton, nothing, he's out. And right now, Trentin is just sticking in the wheels. And he looks like he's like the three of them is going, are going to carry it to the line. So that's the medals. Amazing. Right, well, let's see. It's only three k to go now. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. Oh my god, it's fogging. It's fogging up. Coming into the last kilometre and a half kilometre to go, you've got Mads Pedersen in there, you've got Matteo Trentin and Stefan Kuhn. I got there in the end. Oh, they all look super strong, but I've got to say, out of this group, I reckon Trentin must be the fastest sprinter. But hey, if you're watching this, you probably already know. Let's watch the finish. This is the decisive moment. Trentin just checks to make sure there's no radio display. He's telling What an exciting finale to the race. Mads Pedersen surprised me and everyone else, I'm sure. Not you? No, I knew it was coming. You knew it was coming? Yep, easy. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. So, an amazing day at the World Championships. If you've not seen already, I've done a video every day at the World Championships, so be sure to go back and check out each of those. Subscribe for more cycling content. Keep risking it for a biscuit and have a lovely day. Woo!